So today I am with Zeki Manian at Avalanche Summit Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing? Jet lagged? Very. I, uh, I did the thing where I spoke in London yesterday, flew in here this morning, spoke here, haven't, yeah, I've like, I'm very tired, but like, it, it's, it's awesome. Like, this, this has been a great event. I think Avalanche has done a really phenomenal job of organizing this event. They put something together that gathers community, but also like more like dev, like dev kind of people and like finance kind of people. I mean, all blends kind of well. It yeah, really well. And this venue sort of splits people up nicely. So, you know, you have like lots of little groups of people who are getting together and, and talking. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's been really fantastic. So yeah, tell us more about your background, what you're involved with, inclusion. <laughs> so yeah. Like, um, so much to tell. <laughs> I, so I, I've been building blockchains for I've been building blockchains for uh, uh, seven years. Yeah. Uh, so I've done a lot of stuff. My like sort of uh, I got involved in the Cosmos project right at the very beginning. Uh, I've been, or you know I've been involved in Tendermint for you know and consensus protocol work for a very long time. Been very interested in consensus protocols, cryptography, zero knowledge proofs. But now I mostly like sort of do like execs. Like I write li very little code. I do a lot of like executive stuff, strategy, go to market for like a variety of different protocols. So I'm a co-founder and the principal at Sommelier, uh, which is a sort of DeFi liquidity manager that uh, you know is using a validator set to sort of achieve like sort of unprecedented levels of automation. It's a very novel thing that allows you to have like off-chain trading strategies that are executed on chain, uh, but in a decentralized manner. Then like I have, I, I, I sort of think of projects as my children and I have many children. Uh, the, uh, uh, the um, but other children that are my favorites. Another one is Agoric, um, which is a smart contract chain um, based on hardened JavaScript that is launching on top of Cosmos. They are bringing a stable coin uh, to the uh, Cosmos network that you know will initially be able to it's sort of like Maker, but like you can use Atoms as, as collateral to, to issue the stablecoin. Um, and so very excited that we'll be working on that. Vigoric. I still work on the Cosmos Hub. Occlusion. I have a validator called Occlusion, um, which we do validation, but a lot of like protocol dev and cryptography work. Um, we support a lot of work in like sort of open source Rust cryptography. Uh, we do a lot of just like general cryptography and infrastructure building. Uh, so yeah, we run validators on a number of different, mostly Cosmos networks. Then we also have, uh, uh, so the Cosmos Hub. I have a fork of the DM blockchain. I'm very interested in Move, um, which is you know the, the programming language that came out of the DM project and is now starting to show up in other things like uh, Sui and Aptos. Um, so very excited about that. Uh, I love programming languages uh, in general. I was a Haskell person at once upon a time. Yeah, I, I, I do a lot of stuff. So yeah, you mentioned Haskell move that's been designed by the Libra team. We keep hearing about yeah, Solidity and how it is a float language. Dean Trivel likes to attack Solidity, for instance. And so now we have hardened JS. Yeah. I mean, what's the meta for you in terms of languages <laughs> when it comes to I mean, smart contracts? I believe that move and hardened JS really have a lot of potential to like make it a lot less expensive to launch new protocols and smart contract applications. Like really this, the nature of Solidity is, yes, there's a lot of stuff that's been built and you can fork it and stuff like that, but it, how Solidity contracts compose together is incredibly complicated to reason about. All kinds of unexpected things can happen. Like I thought the example of like uh, what happened on Gnosis Chain with this protocol, Agave, which took Aave V2, deployed exactly the same contracts on Gnosis Chain, but because the ERC-20 co uh, tokens that come over the bridge are a different implementation of ERC-20 than what you typically find on Ethereum, suddenly the Aave contract becomes unsafe. And this is why I think, like, just thinking about that, the amount of work that has to go through, the, the, the amount of stress that a project goes through when you're auditing your Solidity contracts, which we're doing at Sommelier right now, we're like in the process of auditing our Aave seller. Uh, which is our, our managed Aave strategy that's really the first seller that we're going to launch with. These things are the core, these, you know, the, 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 it's just very, very challenging, right? Um, and, you know, the experiences I've seen with working with both Agoric's JavaScript environment and with uh, uh, Move both validate this idea that you can make developers much more productive just because they don't have to constantly be, you know, they don't have to be spending a lot of time thinking about these kinds of, like, massive security foot guns that you find with Solidity. Yeah, and so speaking about deploying code with, let's say, better safety guarantees, I'm gonna put it like this in English, 
Uh, we're also seeing a lot of breakthrough when it comes to bootstrapping blockchains. And there is the topic of shared security yeah. that is becoming more of a real thing as time goes. So we keep, uh, we, we have, of course, like interchain security that is upcoming. You would like maybe to share some words about that. We have Celestia. So interchain security is, a, is the idea of using IBC to replicate the validator set to other blockchains yeah. and replicate the economic security. Right now, the, the challenge of that model, though, is every validator has to run every blockchain, right? And so you think about it as, as, as occlusion, right? We validate the Cosmos Hub. So now, as the Cosmos Hub adds interchain security chains, every single one of those we will also have to spin up a node for, right? And that will just become part of the social contract. And there's a limit to that, right? There, there is a practical limit to that. And Celestia is how you go beyond that limit. Celestia is fundamentally about the, uh, the, the architecture of a system where you have a true separation of concerns where the validators of the Celestia chain don't need to care about the state, the integrity of the chains that are hosted on top of Celestia, so you don't have to run those nodes. And the people who run those nodes can be light clients of the Celestia chain, so they don't have to validate the Celestia chain. This is the beauty of, of the Celestia architecture, and I think, but like, I would say my overall thesis is I think both monolithic blockchain architectures and the modular architecture are going to run in parallel for quite some time because there's there's so much of scalability improvements that are possible. Um, you know the work of the you know Miston Labs has been talking about SWE. There's so much that can be done to to extend the programming environment, the state environment, to get monolithic chains to be very high scale. But on the other hand, like you know. Data availability as an approach is going to get us to um, is going to get us to like petabytes and petabytes of secure block space every year. Yeah, I mean like fraud proofs and data availability sampling and this whole work with the Razor cores is also very fascinating. And yeah, we, we, we've also seen some attack on monolithic chains as you know they're not the ideal way of scaling. So you have some people that are more pro, pro horizontal scaling through sharding or different methods. Some that believe that ultimate composability can only be achieved on one environment of execution that puts all the player on the same map. It's a big topic, I think. It is a big topic. I think we have really not examined what the programming environment can really do to enable composability when everything isn't in one big shared state. And like this is what the Agoric people have been working on for quite some time. The Move people are also working on this. And we've knocked out a, quite a few wins in terms of financial composability yeah. um, in the synchronous environment. I mean, I think, I think you know, the composability in the synchronous environment has worked out way better than I would have ever, ever anticipated. Uh, and we found new use cases that I would never have anticipated. And I spend a lot of time thinking about how things like liquidations are going to run, work in the Agoric stablecoin. In an environment where the capital to do the liquidation maybe have to be brought over from IBC to do the liquidation, you know, that's very different from, oh, I can just borrow in a flash loan all the capital I need to do the liquidation, right? That's a very different environment. And so I think it's going to be very exciting to see how these things play out. I mean, it's also pretty exciting and that, that podcast kind of thing could last for a few hours. So. I would, I would just ask you if you have any message to share with our audience and if you're hiring people at Sommelier or any other... So Sommelier, we are mostly looking for strategists right now. If you have an idea, if you want to, if you, if you're, if you, you know, you have a DeFi strategy that you're running, you know, for yourself, for your friends, but you want to have a mechanism of opening it up to the public, Sommelier is the, is the place to do that. It's a, it's a place where you can take the kind of off-chain stuff that you might be doing, the off-chain strategies that you might be doing, and if it's all interacting with DeFi on, let's say, Ethereum or Avalanche, we can bring that inside of Sommelier and actually automate that, and it can be now open to the world um, securely. So I'm very excited about that. Um, uh, everything is hiring. <laughs> you know, every, everything in Cosmos is hiring. Sommelier is, is hiring for, for, you know, we're trying to build our strategist community, but we're certainly also in the market for core devs, uh, front end devs, et cetera. Uh, and, uh, you know, but the entire Cosmos ecosystem is also growing enormously. And yeah, I mean, there's just like so much to get into uh, in blockchains. This is an amazing time to join the space. Definitely. And as usual, guys, if you want to engage or reach out to somebody, you'll find the relevant links in the description and eventually some documentation to get yourself up to date. Uh, if you have any questions, use the comment section below. Thank you very much, Seki, for Thank you. coming up. And I hope Thank to you have for... you on the podcast for like a proper show, you know? Absolutely. I mean, that's yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.